evening. But good morning. Midnight. Right past midnight. And I am at Sura Buri Buri Rami Airport. Bangkok, the main one. I don't know. If I'm at the right entrance. I don't know where Golf Air is. Oh, right there, number seven. Ah, that weren't bad guess then. We have all our luggage. Ah, <laughs> note to oneself. Ah, oh, man. Before, a day or so maybe even, or even a few hours before, or during the day before you fly, check your emails to see if there's been any flight changes. Now my flight was originally leave, leaving at 4 a.m. There's been a change. I didn't know that until I was going to book the grab, sorry, the the bolt to bring me a 400 baht bolt with 75 baht for the highway. It's good. It's all right. So anyway, uh, <laughs> not leaving at four o'clock leaving at six o'clock in the morning so I was like two extra hours to kill if I'd have known that earlier in the day I probably would have had a sleep this evening but no just thought I'd come to the airport and start the vlog right I'm going in departure board right here my flight leaving four o'clock here look this one Now I'm saying it, still showing the original flight at four o'clock. I've been sent details of a different one. It's gonna depart at 5.15. Oh, Big airport, check in here. So I might be able to check in my bags. <laughs> it's early, well it's very early midnight it's like really weird getting up doing a vlog after a really heavy day i've been at it all day that's what i rented the hotel room for oh no difficult vlogging with no energy or nothing no coffee yet or nothing and i've got limited bark left so no, i don't know how i'll get on in the supermarket <laughs> well, i checked in Believe it or not, it only let me have the two cases on because that's all I checked. I thought it'd have my big black bag with all my stuff in it, which I've now had to take all the stuff out. Um, and he allowed it. Uh, he had to check what was in the bag before he'd give me my boarding cards. He's just told me to make it small. So I'm now going into boarding. Right here. We're going here. Cheers, darling. Okay. Amazing. The guy let us on with this much hand luggage. So when I don't go boarding, I probably won't be having the camera on for a while. I think I need something to eat. I hope I've got enough bark to get something to eat. Security. So the camera will have to go off immediately. I can see me being here some time. Cannot, okay. All good. Departure lounge. I mean, the trolleys. I think I've broken the record for the world. I stand like it. No one just fell off. But oh, so we coming in here. I think I've been in here for a long while. And I suppose I should look to see 
What gate? I'm going to board from. I'm oh, pulling in the rope, look. <laughs> pulling in the rope. Churning of the milk. That's what's going on there, I think. Cartier looks nice, look. Look at looking sharp. Right. So we're leaving at 5.40. Uh-huh. It's not on there. It's not on there. <laughs> oh, it's that four o'clock one. Leave it at 5.15. Gate E5. Okay, gate E5 it is then. I don't really want to walk all three here. Gate E5. I'm wilting as I talk. It's, it's probably going to drain the life out of you watching this, look. <laughs> Why is it checked one small gate? We've got it already. Have a got gate. <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just I'm really with it, I tell you. I tell you, it's not, it's not the sort of thing to do vlogging is why you're half asleep and naked, but it's an important part of the journey, isn't it? It is. Bangkok to Norwich. An important journey. It is what it is. Show us at E15. Burger King. Fries, a fish and chip burger, and a thick thing of sink. 721 baht. <laughs> Cheers, I'm climatizing. Oh. It's alright. Chips are hot. We are going for the fish and chip burger. <laughs> Mukbang. It's all right. It's a lot better than I thought it was, actually. So that's where I am. Eating some grub. Having a beer before I go. That float's delayed, by the way. <laughs> Why? It's a bit funny over bent. Oh, that's a day good one. Right, I'm going to eat this and drink that. So, see you in a bit. We're boarding. Oh, cold. Sleep. In. Oh. Middle of the night, isn't it? Can't talk. <laughs> Not gonna talk. <laughs> oh man, loaded up. Now we're getting onto the flight. Hopefully, I'll get checked in straight away. A few more people aboard. Oh, Off to Bahrain. This is Bahrain. <laughs> cool kids area. There, chilling area. Hot, clean. That's your passport if you're checking in to Bahrain. Transfers. Transfers on top. Of Up here. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Upstairs. Yes, sir. Cheers. Ah, oh, so I'm going upstairs for some transfers. Not a bad six-hour flight. Um, I did sleep, food, well it was alright, um, I got food, it was good, apart from chicken lasagna, fish rice or veggie rice, so I had the chicken lasagna and chicken lasagna just don't work, I had one mouthful, um, cheese and biscuits I ate, coleslaw was rubbish, but I had a cake, oh man, 
Man, that was it. This, where's it? All right, buddy. Hey. I'm okay to film. Where am I going? Transferring to London Heathrow? Yes, yes, yeah. Let's go by the uh, bus here. In here or up round right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh man, the security checks again. Oh, there we are, so I don't really know what else I can tell you. Except I did have a little bit of sleep, not as tired or got a little bit of energy. Where am I going mate? Transfers this way? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, and there is the line to put all the bags through security once again. Right, so I'll join you on the other side. Okay, we're through the security. I had every bag checked. So I'm gate 22, so the guy just told me. So I'm just checking, because I'm leaving at 9.25, and I ain't come up. <laughs> oh, I thought you ate it when your flight don't come up. <sighs> Tell me gate 22. I'm looking at his board like I'm, I'm out of it again. Ah oh, man. Anyway, I had a fork confiscated. Yeah, I did. But I mean, this, this airport is huge. Time is against me. Gates 11 to 16, 17 to 22. I am heading to gate 22. <laughs> you have all your, all your top brands, you alright darling? Good, good. <laughs> oh, again, these kind of travel videos, they're not really full of anything are they? <laughs> nothing bad's going to happen, hopefully. Nothing, you know what I mean, all is what it is. Oh man, gate 22. I've got to go upstairs. Right. <sighs> go all the way at gate 22. No, 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 there's no flight from gate 22. The bloke there has told me it's gate 11. So I'm now to walk all the way back, having a little rest break, so I don't want to, I want to sweat too much. I really don't. Oh man, what a palaver. And time is against me. Oh, mate. So I'm on the uh, walking platform. Right, gate 11. And hopefully, I'll be a, have, have a flight to board. <laughs> I have boarded the flight to London. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Next to the window. <laughs> Pretty busy flight. Apparently the hostess tells me the flight is fully booked. And I'm right at the back, so I'll be last to get fed. But let me do a view out the window. <laughs> Welcome to the most boringest vlog you will ever see on a YouTube. It's me going on a plane journey most boringest vlogs I, I, I have to make. It's why I go on the buses and, and endure um, a little bit of adventure as opposed to sitting on a plane and oh man, what can I show you next? I might show you the takeoff and depending on whether or not I take a sleeping tablet or not, I'll show you what I'm going to have for me breakfast. Rivet and stuff, I know. And um, I feel a little bit energised, but I feel I'm not going to take all that energy away by dropping a little blue pill, um, which will, uh, I don't know what condition I'll be in, I'll probably be all jelly-like when I get to London. There's only a six, another six or five hour flight, I think, not, not sure, five or six hours. Anyway, on the flight to Heathrow.
great, man. Wow. <laughs> it's a desert. Wait one second, you will see Concord. <laughs> see how small it is. Just in the British Airways pound right there. That that little jet that is Concord. Passport control. <laughs> Quick bathroom. Oh, hang on. It's okay, my friend. This cannot. Uh -huh. After this point, yeah, it's fine. But not, not in the impression. Not right now. All right, mate. Cheers, buddy. 
denied access. Passport control. I'm in this waiting area. To go through some sort of procedure. But I've not been allowed to enter the country. Ah. Okay. Life got interesting. <laughs> for you guys, not for me. It is now ten past two. I got tugged at passport control. I did. Got detained at passport control. I got then taken to customs and excise where they wanted to go through each and every one of my bags. And they did, went through every single bag, every single item. And all, all of my skulls and all my bone items have been confiscated. <laughs> I have been arrested. Not for those, I've been arrested because I had some Valium in my pocket to help me get back to sleep. I'd only taken two and it did work, but Valium is a class B controlled drug in the UK. Did not know that. So on arrival to the UK, I have been in re arrested for being in possession of a controlled class B blood drug, which I have a court appearance. I've now, be I've now been in the police cells, right? under interview, under all sorts of fingerprints taken, DNA and everything, and I have a court, I've just been bailed out. Uh, lucky enough with my computer and hard drives, because they all got confiscated. I have had both my mobile phones confiscated, and they said it's gonna be maybe another week before they can send them to me in the post. So that's really annoying, because I kind of need them for authorization codes and stuff for my YouTube, when I now turn my YouTube on. So I'm now at the bus station and you can get a National Express bus ticket using this ticket here and for £33 at half past eight I will be leaving for Norwich and I'll get there at uh, something past one o'clock. I have now pay a £2.50 charge to use that ATM to take some money out. So I'm now stuck here for six hours. Um, it don't look well I might be able to sleep but if I lay down there I might be able to sleep a little bit if, if nobody steals all my luggage so with regards to all my bone items and skulls some of them come under the CITES Act and so it looks like I could be uh, bringing illegal goods into the UK but the whole thing is the whole lot has been confiscated even some ceramic 10 ceramic skulls They've all been confiscated and they're all being checked out and that could take up to two or three months before I get any of that stuff back. Again, this wasn't expected. It was, you know, doing okay. I'd been better off leaving all that stuff and just selling it in Thailand, but you know, um, I did get managed, managed to get through with loads of copied items and 20 packets of cigarettes, which I'm only supposed to have 10, but the guys didn't worry about it. Yeah. The, everybody at customs and the police were, were were really good. They were. They're really friendly, really helpful, and and they didn't find this camera at the side. They saw my big SLR. They're taking the SD card from that. They're taking the SD card from the drone. They're taking serial numbers from the camera. They've done all sorts, man. I don't know why. I was really uh, really pleased they let me have my laptop back and my hard drives because that's my life. Without them, I can't work, can I? So. That would, have, that would have made things really difficult. I'd have, I'd have fell off the face of a cliff. So here I am. The journey will continue after my uh, night in the cells, whatever. Um, but it is what it is. We <laughs> picked up a Heathrow custom. Something new, something different. And like I say, it probably made some kind of interesting uh, itinerary for this a very a boring, a dull vlog up until now. Uh, so I'll see you until 8 o'clock roughly and then the next bit will be me getting on that bus because we will get to Norwich, we will, at 1.30 and we will have happy ending, we will. Thumbs up, things are perking up. Black Sheep Coffee opens at 5am, that's it, Tannoy.
Now, I have just spent my first English money at 5 a.m. this morning. And it is rather shocking. A cup of coffee in the black sheep coffee prior to Brexit was £2.50. Now, for a medium cappuccino, it's £3.99. It's four quid <laughs> for a coffee. It is, and it's only a medium one. But, good bit of news, there's a plug socket in there. And because I've got a really old flip phone, police didn't take it. Uh, they didn't want it because there's no internet or nothing on there. But they didn't find it anyway. So, I am, look, I've got, I've got the gear there. I'm in the shop. I do have a four pounds cup of coffee and the phone. Look, my flip phone. You've all seen the flip phone before. James Bond stylish flip phone. There's no internet on there. Oh man, that's charging up. So I'm getting better, I'm getting more organized. Things, I'm getting on it. We'll, we'll get there. It's time. <laughs> Daylight. Busy. <laughs> I have been set in that calf. Utilizing, whoa, a wild trolley. Utilizing the facilities <laughs> to justify four quid for a cappuccino. Okay, how many? Cheers, buddy. How many times? Well, how long will it take me to go over that? Right now, the bus leaves at eight twenty, but it don't go to Norwich. No, it doesn't. It's a bit like Thailand, need to know bases. It actually goes to Victoria. Then I've got a change. I think I've got an hour's wait at Victoria. And then that takes me, Victoria, London, central London. We're gonna see a bit of central London today. <laughs> so the vlog has picked up. <laughs> well, I don't know what. Hang on, you know how it is, I start walking, I start talking, I start forgetting about what I actually should be doing. I've got a few minutes, there's no National Express bus there, so... Ah! It's that one there. <laughs> the first one I walked past, but it said I was caught. Oh man, so I didn't have it anyway. I've, I've accessed my phone, got that sorted with Tesco's, reactivated my old number so I can use it. And I've also activated YouTube, which uh, about two hours ago, I was speaking with YouTube and it was gonna be seven days before I could load anything up. Wow, I've changed that. It will be no days. I will be vlogging, loading every single day. Um, I'll say that, I've got to find, I don't know if my mate's got internet. But anyway, I think this is, is a bus. It's one of these two and we're off. To Victoria. Victoria. Get told off, hang on. Victoria bus station. <laughs> and I am at gate 15. Now I should have brought all my luggage and just pushed in. Because we're gonna go soon, but <laughs> this is how busy Victoria gets. Busy little bus station. Excuse me, excuse me, where's my luggage? Aha, there it is, awesome. Coming up is the bus. Oh man, maybe I should go out that door. <laughs> it's less people and it's going at the same time. <sighs> Happy, that's three or four hours, four hours, three and a half hours. Norwich. That is Westminster Abbey, right there. I forget the name of the square, but that's where Prose there's Winston Churchill, and that's where the process. That right there, that's Big Ben. Wow, 
Oh man, got the tourist city is London town. London is a town, not a city. That there is the Thames. Oh, I can't think the other Spay Bridge there by the Thames. But that, what was that? That's the Millennium. Oh, what's that called? Big Wheel. The what? The, uh, the, uh, the Eye. Yeah. That's the Eye, is it? Yeah. The Big Wheel. Yeah. It's the London Eye. There you go. There you go. There's a tour up in the in in the house. Um. Oh, what's this bridge? Is this Waterloo Bridge? I'm not sure the names of the bridges. I only know Tower Bridge and London Bridge. But there you go. That was Westminster. That was Westminster Bridge and Westminster Abbey. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> that saves loads of you writing in with any comments, doesn't it? How <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, it is, when you leave Victoria on this bus journey to Norwich, it is very much a tourist attraction all along. The, I think this is Westminster, this road. I, th I think that's what they call it. Um, right next to the Thames. And then we turn, when we get to the end, we'll then turn round at Tower bridge we'll see tower bridge and you can see the shard there and the gherkin right there and this that's the tower of london right there that's where they sold all them poppies <laughs> from there Canary Wharf. That's it. Under loads, Billingsgate Market. Loads of construction going on in there. Massive. Massive. And that concludes your tour of London for today. I will be back. Obviously, a court case on the 15th of November. 15th? Sometime in November, anyway. So that is London. See you in Norwich. This is is an old lady pushing Sorry? pushing her shop. Is a young lady pushing her shopping. Oh, okay. You all right, darling? Okay. You all right? Yes. Yes. This is Norwich. Look, Chinese, Korean, Thai, Japanese, Philippines, Vietnamese, and Malaysia. I might as well not have bothered. <laughs> anyway guys, this is it. This is the end of my YouTube introduction for the last year and a half. Yeah it is, this is the end. It's over. Just got to wait here for a taxi. Because tomorrow, or well, the next day, the real journey begins. Yeah, it does. I've been on holiday last year and a half. Now, I've got to work for a living. And I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working really hard. Because <laughs> it's a little bit expensive here, so I need to put my finger out. Oh, mate, I made it. Sort of. And I've got to get a taxi to my mate. So, until next time, I've, now I'm not sure if I've actually made this into two vlogs or one. If I have made it into two vlogs, you'd have probably watched one vlog. Well, you'd probably watch them both. But if I have made it in one vlog, then you've probably watched it in one vlog. Funny thing is, at this point in time, I don't know. I need to see how long this goes on for. So until next time, appreciate you watching as always. And au revoir.